What it is, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Baby K, and I'm back again with another video. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. That is all I want for my birthday this year, and I also want my husband to come, but yeah. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys 20 things I learned by the time I turned 20, which is today, July 14, 2000. We're in 2020, baby. My age changes by the year, cool, so you already know the vibe. I just thought that I'd share with you guys I took a minute to reflect and I just want to thank God for everything that he's done for me We're going to be putting the comment shout out of the week right here I forgot to start doing this in my previous videos, but I promise you guys starting today We're doing comment shout outs for a chance to be featured in my next videos Then comment down below and also turn on your post notifications Let me know you did that so I know I'm picking somebody who actually took the time out of their day to turn on their post notifications Without any further ado, let's get right into this video. The first thing that I learned by the age of 20 is that life is a movie. At least my life is a movie. I feel like I'm playing a character for real. All my life, I made sure that I was a good enough person so there's no bad karma that's gonna come back to me. If y'all watch movies, y'all know. If you're the bad guy, bad things will come for you at the end. If you're the good guy, good things for you will come at the end. And you're gonna struggle in the middle a lot, even at the beginning. And I feel like my life, that's kind of what it's been. Shit is not easy, but like I keep making it through I've been resilient I haven't lost hope next thing I learned by the time I turned 20 is to pray for your enemies you cannot get blessed if you hating on your enemies you can't hate on your haters matter of fact haters are not even haters haters are fans haters are the reason as to why you need to keep going like if you got haters just know you're doing something right because at the end of the day that prayer will come back to you you can't be wishing bad on nobody and that's on period poop Third thing I learned by the time I turned 20. It's okay for me to have a good heart, okay? If you guys watched my 20 facts about me, was it 25 facts? 25 facts about me video, y'all know I spoke about how much I hate being such a nice person. But things have changed within a year. Now, I think I'm okay with being nice. As long as I don't let anybody take advantage of my niceness, I let them know what's up, then it's okay for me to be nice. It's really okay, it's really okay. Fourth thing I've learned by the time I turned 20, elevation requires separation. I'm going to repeat, elevation requires separation. By the time I turned 18, I lost so many friends and I didn't understand why. I was like, yo, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck? But now I'm at a place in my life where I feel like if I did have every single person that I used to have in my life, I would have never, ever, ever elevated. Like I would have just stayed the same. I don't think I would have ever changed. I don't think I would have ever blossomed into the person that I'm becoming right now, the person that I'm meant to become because being alone has taught me so, so, so much. And this, this you guys, is key this should have been number one okay prayer is the key to success if you don't believe if you don't have a relationship with god it's okay it's all right but you know don't dismiss me like it's the truth like i'm being so serious praying used to be something that i used to do every morning when i wake up and every night before i go to sleep like thank you god for waking me up thank you god for letting me go to sleep bye good night you feel me but now, it's a different story. Now I feel like I'm actually just genuinely all the time, 24 seven, praying in the spirit. My first thought in the morning is prayer. My first thought in the shower is prayer. My first thought before I record a video is prayer. So I just really feel like prayer is the key to success. Like I really do. Now this not to be shady or anything, y'all, but this is really important. Trust no one. That does not mean have no friends. That does not mean you can't talk to nobody. That's not what it means. It just means do not trust anybody to a point where when they decide to switch up on you, they're gonna be like, oh my God, you can't trust people with your life. You can't do that. You literally cannot do that. The only person you can trust with your life is God. And that's on God. Next thing I learned by the time I turned 20, it took me a minute to discover this about myself. I can't believe it took me like 20 years. Like what the hell was wrong with me? I mean, it's something I explored already, but what the hell was wrong with me? I can actually write music. I've written so many songs. Like I'm so happy that by the time I turned 20, I figured out that I could write music because now that's like just a passion of mine. It's a hobby of mine. I just do it whenever I'm in my feelings and I can't wait to share my music with the world. Next, 
I can also sing. That's something that I really had no confidence in back in the days. I always used to sing. I was a part of the choir and all these different things. I used to record myself. I loved it, but having people just project their own insecurities on me kind of made me doubt myself and kind of made me stop. If you've watched my 25 facts about me video, get to know me, you know that I said I can't sing. But that wasn't even the truth because I also said that I sing 24 seven, I sing in the shower, but I just can't sing. But it's not the truth, y'all. Like I was, I was, I was really just tripping. Around that time, I really had no confidence in it, but stay tuned for music. I've been working on some fire shit, y'all, so just stay tuned. Next, never return evil for evil. What I mean by that is if somebody stabs you on your leg, you don't need to stab them back. If somebody slaps you in your face, you don't need to slap them back. Karma is going to do its thing. Like, need I say more? I don't even need to say more. That's pretty self-explanatory because if you slap them back, listen, something's gonna happen to you too. Like, somebody's gonna come and slap you again. It's a cycle. So it's best if you just sit still and you just wait for God to give you your justice. You wait for him to come through for you. You wait for him to come and fight your battles because listen, honey, forgive anybody who has ever hurt you, ever wronged you, ever... You know, it's not healthy for you to hold grudges. I learned that not because I was ever holding grudges. There's no reason as to why I can't forgive somebody who has wronged me. I forgive before they even apologize, like for real, for real, because if I don't do that, then that's just gonna put my heart in a position where it's going to be conflicted. I'm not going to be at peace with myself, nor am I going to be at peace with anyone around me. Like that's just not it. So if you know what's good for you, sis, bro, just, Forgive them, forgive her, forgive him. That don't mean run back, be nice, and go act crazy. No, that just means forgive in your heart. And be honest, don't just go say I forgive you. You don't even need to say I forgive you to the person. Actually forgive in your heart. This is major, y'all. This is so major. And I hope that whoever's watching this, you can take this tip and run with it. Listen, trust your intuition. If you have a gut feeling, and you decide to ignore it, later on, you're always gonna be like, oh my God, like, I thought this, but I decided, let me see the best in this person. You can't just decide to just see the good in people. You need to also be able to trust your intuition. Just because you believe that somebody is a good person, just because you believe that they have the potential to be a good person, doesn't mean that they believe this for themselves. Doesn't mean that they wouldn't do you wrong. So like, if you meet somebody and your intuition tells you you can't trust this person, and then you still go ahead and you tell this person, I killed somebody, like if you do this, I didn't kill nobody, but for real, if you do this, you can't be surprised if the person goes and spreads your business because your intuition told you that you couldn't trust this person, but you trusted them anyway, so trust your intuition. I, mean, I realized this like at 18, I always felt it, but I realized it at 18, and now more than ever, I know this, this is a fact in my life, God is watching me 24-7, like 24-7. He sees me 24-7. There's nothing that I can do behind his back thinking that he won't see me because he will see me. That's just facts. So it's always best to be honest, not just with yourself, but also with God. Because if you think you're doing something and he won't see you, sorry to burst your bubble, but he's seen it. And mm, I'm not trying to tell on you or nothing like that. You should go apologize. You should say sorry. Because when I be doing crazy shit, I got to tell God I'm sorry because this is not like me. But you know, I did it anyway. So next, if I don't include God in my plans, I can't get mad at him if they don't work out. I need to go to Africa. Real talk, y'all, like, I don't think I'm ever gonna feel good until I step foot in Africa. Like, Ghana and Nigeria are actually where I wanna go, but I don't care if I go to Ghana or Nigeria. I just want to go, like, I need to go. I feel like I don't know who I am. Yes, I'm Haitian, but the truth of the matter is I was imported to Haiti from Africa. Where am I from? I need to go get DNA tested. Hmm. That should be like my birthday gift to myself. I need to know which part of Africa I'm from. 15th thing I learned by the time I turn 20. Listen, y'all, listen. If you didn't know, I'm an actress. Did you know? Did you? Yes? No? If you didn't, now you know. Today you know. I'm actually a whole actress, you guys. Even for me to come here in front of the camera, this is not me acting. This is really me. But there's so much different personalities in there. 
an actress. Y'all see my pranks? If you haven't watched my pranks, go watch my pranks because I'm an actress. Soon, I'm going to be in movies. You're going to see me on TV and that's on period pool. So get to it now. My acting career started on YouTube. So... Number 16, I'm celibate. When did I start my celibacy? I started my celibacy when I turned 18. That's crazy, you guys. I'm 20 now. I'm going on two years. Bitch! Like, I can't believe this. If I pop up on y'all with a man, if I pop up on y'all with a husband, y'all can't be shook. Like, just know I warned you, I told you this was coming in this video. I'm so serious. Something that like honestly truly obviously it doesn't piss me off or nothing like that But <laughs> I kind of have a hard time wrapping my head around it But it's a lesson that I learned and that I had to learn by the time I turned 20 I can't go against God's divine timing I can't make nothing happen before it's supposed to happen If my YouTube channel is supposed to blow in two months Then my YouTube channel will blow in two months I can't force it I can't do extra extra work if the set appointed time God decided it was gonna blow up was gonna be in two months. You understand? And it has nothing to do with my channel. That was just an example for y'all. I just learned to be a bit more patient when it comes to my whole entire life journey. Don't ever rush God's timing because if it's taken a minute, that means whatever it is that you ask for, it's so big that God has to work on it. Like he can't give it to you like this. That's the devil's work. Only the devil gives you things. The minute you ask for it, he gives it to you just so he could take it back from you. So this is something that I feel like a lot of people have a hard time with. A lot of people have a hard time understanding. God is not the creator of evil. You know when bad things happen and you're over here like, God, why? Like, that's not him. There's two forces in this world. There's good and there's bad. Anything good, it comes from God. But anything bad, it comes from the other source in the world. Like, y'all can't just blame everything on God. Like, that's not God. Sometimes we're going against God's laws and he can't do anything to stop us because we were made with free will sometimes you can choose the path that's going to lead you into abundance and only good things and prosperity and stuff like that but that does not mean you're not going to have trials and tribulations and tests and things like that shit is going to be hard but at least you're going to have god to lean on if you ever do fall and you're going to get back up but i just explained to you guys right now that's the path less traveled by but if you decide to take the path that everybody travels you're just going to realize that every time you make a decision for yourself something bad happens and then you're just gonna go ahead and blame god we can't be doing that that's not okay because that's not on him he's another thing i learned by the time i turned 20 it is not okay for me or for you to stay where we're comfortable you can't stay in your comfort zone if you stay in your comfort zone chances are you're never going to grow you're never going to elevate you're just gonna stay comfortable that's the whole point and then later on in life you're just gonna realize i never decided to go outside of the box i never decided to do more i never decided to be uncomfortable in order to achieve something i just decided to stay where i was at and now i'm having to pay the consequences i have removed every ounce of fear and doubt that i ever had in my heart when it came to me because I could actually be my biggest hater. I could be my own downfall. I could be, but I'm not though. I'm not hard on myself at all. I take it easy. I don't try to like fake perfection because I do realize that at the end of the day, that's only going to hinder me. Later on, I'm not going to get to reap the benefits of the hard work that I'm supposedly putting in if I never got out of my comfort zone. Last but not least, I learned that God destroys everything in order order to rebuild on a stronger foundation for example i could have built this youtube channel and have not involved god at all like never prayed for anything to ever work out like literally i was just going based off of my own ability because oh my god i think i'm cute i think i have a bomb personality so people are just going to like me false because eventually that would fall apart i do pray to god for the channel to remain solid because i'm trying to build something strong i'm trying to build something that's going to last i'm trying to build like a legacy a name for myself in my heart i know that whatever content i'm putting out in the world i want whoever's watching my videos to be able to benefit from them so it's not about me it's really not about me i don't want to make this about me i don't want it to be about me i want it to be about you guys honestly truly because 
I'm not watching myself, you're watching me. If you made it this far, listen, like, comment, subscribe, okay, okay, okay. Your support matters. It literally helps out my channel so much with the whole algorithm. So please, please help out. We're on the way to 2K subscribers, y'all. So subscribe to the channel, share with your friends, and that's it. This is basically an updated 20 facts about me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for riding with me. Thank you for watching my videos. Because I'm crazy, I'm weird, but I guess you guys like me. You guys are still watching. If you're a hater and you're watching, then that's lame because I post really good content. So don't try it. Don't try it. Don't even try it on my birthday. Like today is the day that you should not be trying it at all.